Well, I got word that you passed out of one of the hospitals down in Tulsa. Darn right, I'm dead. Uh, sucker, sir, don't get, sir, don't get in my face. I'm not getting in your face. I'm just telling you what now, they I did. Now, I can understand you're mad because of what happened to your, what was your wife? Yeah, they cut her up for nothing. Sir, I asked you not to get in my face. Now, I'm going to turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to, for your protection and to mine, I'm going to... Fine. Yeah, they get they get by with this crap, and I'm the one that gets arrested, right? You're not arrested, sir, at this point. Yeah, right. But, I'm the but one at that the you're same here time, for. I gotta look after my safety too. Yeah, but I'm the one you're here for. They ain't down there bugging them. They're the one that did it. So, so now, what do you got to say now? Now look, they cut her up for a cancer that didn't even exist. The doctor went on vacation as soon as he got through and left her with somebody else that didn't even care if she lived or died. Then they turned around and let her go twice with an infection out of the hospital. The first time, with the size of a softball, when I took her back. After having an x-ray down here done and, and everything, they sent her back down there and the guy nearly killed her again. Sent her home again and she wound up with a 15 inch cut, four inches wide in the middle of her belly. You know, I can understand you're really upset, now, she but when spent I, three when months I came coma. up here right here, it looked like you were fixing to jump all over me. Now, I don't, I don't I mean, want to jump on you, I, I just want to get I understand down. that you're pretty, pretty mad at the hospital. Mad at them? They're, man, they could have killed her and they didn't even give a flip. They, she spent three months in a coma for nothing. And we wind up $850,000 medical bill, and I've been work, working my butt off just keep, trying to keep her alive for over a year. And you think I'm mad at Yeah, I'm mad at them. They're getting by with this, too, because the laws protect them down there. And I, I just don't, can't see letting them do that. They're not going to do that around people as long as, I, as long as I can help it. Well, if I take you out of the handcuffs, you're not going to try and fight me, are you? I have to, no, I'm not going to fight you. I'm just mad at them. Look what they did, and they get by with it. I can understand. Right. I, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but like I say, i got to look after my interests, too, here. I mean, it's a real shame what sounds like what they did to your wife and that, but like I said, I'm just... Let, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Spent the last year writing this book for one reason, to pay off eight, part of an $800,000 medical bill yes, that sir. we got stuck with. And we're trying to sell it at Amazon.com to make up for what they've done to us. And we'll never make up the money that they did, but at least we can try and warn other people about laws that protect doctors and stuff when they terrorize the patients. Well, sir, I appreciate your time. Thank you. So, good luck on your, on your book. I'm trying. All right, thanks.